Hi and welcome to the craft station. I'm Lisa behind the camera and this is my Lego bonsai tree build series. Oh boy. Hi and welcome to the Lego bonsai tree build. Uh, this will be episode one. Um, what I plan on doing on this episode is just showing you quickly the box art, the <coughs> the booklets, and probably build first the first part. So uh, let's make a start. So here, as you can see, is the box. The main picture is the actual bonsai tree and the stand. And doesn't it look lovely? So on the back we have the other option that you can have to build. The pink and white leaves do actually come within the kit. Um, so as you can see from the picture here, let me bring that up, they are interchangeable which is fantastic. Um, the total measurement of the actual tree itself and the stand is uh, 18 centimeters tall by 20 centimeters long. Uh, it doesn't actually give you the width so I can measure that once I have that on episode 3 probably when I build the stand. So there we go. I shall just move this to one side and we'll have a look at the book. So here we are, the booklet. Uh, it's quite thick really for, for what's in there. Um, so again on the front we've got a lovely picture of uh, the finished bonsai tree. Um, we have a little bit about the art of bonsai, comparing the Lego build to actually uh, the, you know, the real trees. A little bit about the chap uh, Nicola, Nicholas Vass who created the actual design for the bonsai tree which is quite cool and then a little bit about the actual pack itself on this side um, so obviously we've got the green leaves and then the white and pink, which is supposed to represent uh, cherry blossom, I think, the, the Japanese cherry tree. And so there we go, that's that one. Uh, and next is um, a little bit about the Lego group and how they are trying to make more sustainable future for children. Um, Currently more than 80 Lego elements, including trees, leaves and bushes, are made from a plant-based plastic. That's good to know that uh, they're looking at the future. And then this little tool here, which I absolutely love. It's brilliant. It's this thing here, if nobody's actually seen one before. Um, and if you make a mistake, it's absolutely brilliant. It saves your nails, put it that way. Um, especially when you've got them like me and they're absolutely rubbish. But yes, uh, they're a lot good, a lot better. And so easy to get the bricks off. And then on this page, as you can see, we've got the four stages of the build. So in bags one, two and three, you've got the pot the tree trunk and what would be pebbles I'm assuming in there. Uh, in bag four you've got the green leaves, bag five you've got the pink and white and then in bag six you've got the actual stand. And then obviously for the rest of the book we have the actual uh, building instructions. So I'll just quickly flick through that at this moment um, and then at the back we have 
uh, what a section was called Carry On Growing. So it's what other people have done and used to build their own miniature trees uh, with all different other type of Lego bricks that you can buy. So uh, some of them look pretty cool to be perfectly honest. Um, and unusual, like this one here for example, somebody instead of using uh, leaves they've used little Lego men uh, as the branches, so pretty cool. My favourite is uh, this one here. Uh, I'll just bring it in a bit. The, it looks like an aquarium. I'm definitely going to have to keep my eyes open for something like that. Looks really nice. And then on the back is the information of uh, all the part numbers, etc., of what's actually in the kit. Um, and then just general contact information. So that's the book. So what I will do is I'll just flick to pay the first part, um, which is bag number one. Uh, it just zoom. Oh, see if I can work this. Zoom out a little. There we go. Move that up to there, and then we have bag number one. I've already opened it up ready but what I'll do is I'll tip it out so that the bag's not rustling so much and things will be a little bit easier to find so I'll be right back. So let's uh, make a start on this build. So as you can see for the first three pages I'm going to need these two here and yes I've sorted out this side into all different styles. Call me, maybe it's the nude in me, but uh, I just like to think that rather than routine through to try and find things, it's always easier to sort it out first. So um, everything's all grouped into similar shapes, etc. So, but anyway. We need these two pieces here and the two brown boards. I'll see about try and zoom in a little bit so oh there we go, that's a bit better. Just so you can is that any better? Hopefully you'll be able to see. I can't tell on my little screen whether I'm close enough or not. Um, so there we go. So, following those three, that's the first part done, just dead easy. So, on the next page, we have, uh, we need eight, is it eight, sorry, uh, six of these grey ones here, which I've already counted, two, four, six. So, nope, that's it. I'm jumping ahead of myself. So, these go around the edge like so. And that one there, that one there, that one there, and that one. up to that point. Now point number five, I need these four here, three, four, and four of these little white dots here. So these fill in all the holes that are left to make it all nice and smooth but these obviously might give it like a little bit of a detail which I'm sure will come to light further on in the build. So there we go. There's those four done. 
So, next page. Okay, so this is the part that the tree, the tree trunk stands on. So, I need that which sits smack bang in the centre. So, push that on. And then we need one, two, three, four of these little shapes here, which sit around the edge like so. Three and four, so that's that. And then we need the other four of these little white dots and they go like so. Don't know if there's any real importance as to which square they go, which dot they go on, but uh, I'm following the picture just to make sure, just to be safe. So there we go, that's part up to part seven done. And the next part, so we have ten of these and four of these, so that's two, four, six, eight, ten. And then these sit all around with the smooth side facing inwards. So let's get these on. There we go, so I thought I'd speed that up a little bit so you're not sitting watching that. So that's that stage all done. As you can see, the smooth side on the inside. So the next is number nine, which I need these four single strip grey ones, which if you can see it properly and four of these black ones. So as you can see, they've got a bit of a dimple on the end, which gives a bit of a feature. So these sit on the ends like so, with a bit of an overhang. So I'll pop these ones on first. Sorry, my hands are really cold. And there. And this one here. So that's those. And then these sit around in the spaces. So I'll do this one on this end as well. to ask a question. When you were little did you build, used to build Lego? And if so, did you have kits or was it from uh, a big, oh dear, a big tub? Because uh, I know my boys when they were little we, we, we had a big tub of Lego and we just used our imagination because uh, the kits could get really expensive and they still are stupidly expensive for what you get. So, there we go. Having said that, I don't, for what what's in this kit, it wasn't as expensive as I was expecting. So there we go, so that's up to that point now. And the next part is around the edge we have um, these ones which are smooth on the top and then shaped like that. I'm not sure if you can tell properly. I might be able to tell. Like I say, because of the position of where the camera is, I can't tell. So, 
I need 24 of these, which I'll count it out here. So they just literally sit on the edge like that. Last one. There we go. So there's that all nice and smooth. You have to excuse the finger marks to give it a bit of a, a clean up and a polish up once I've finished. So that's part 11. Oh no, sorry, beg your pardon, that's part 10 done. Part 11, these four which sit the top like so there we go oh, and that one and that one and then the last number 12 is all these smooth ones to finish off the smooth, like the smooth edges for the pot and there's 12 of these so I shall crack on getting these put on all the way around so there we go that's the main part of the pot done just the last bit now to pop on the feet so we have one of these one of these blue ones which slots there and then we have what looks like a tyre and that sits on there and that makes the uh, the leg. So there we go. There's that, and it goes in the corner. So now I need the other four, which are here. As they used to say on Blue Peter, here's some I made earlier. So and there's them stuck down. So there we have it. That's the pot finished. Absolutely lovely. It's probably this is other than the stand, this is probably the easy one of the easiest more easier put my teeth in. This is probably one of the easier parts to build. Um, quite straightforward so uh, what I'll be doing is I'm gonna cut us off there for this episode and then I'll be back uh, with episode 2 which will be bag number 2 building the tree trunk and if there's still time I will possibly build the stand as well but uh, we'll see because like I said I like to try and keep the videos a bit shorter so there we go so until next time stay safe take care keep crafting and I'll see you soon bye for now